lovelies welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a monthly spread plan with me I haven't done one of these in a while I had one for July in my old Erin Condren but since then I haven't really planned the monthly spread at least with a kit but I figured I wanted to go ahead and do the kits again because I want to start using my monthly spread for things I noticed that I'm not really using it and I could use it for reminders and just like a glance at what's going on for the month so I figured I'd go ahead and start doing that I did end up buying an October kit and I did buy a September and August I wasn't able to buy a July kit I haven't found one that I liked or most shops don't really have them in their shop anymore but that's okay as long as I was able to get at least September and August, I'm good with that. That covers pretty much the majority of the rest of this year. And then from now on, I do plan on buying monthly spreads for the rest of the year and next year so that all of this Erin Condren will be complete with the monthly spreads and weekly spreads, except for the monthly spread of July. But the kit that I'm going to be using is this gorgeous, gorgeous kit by Shop Jessica Hearts and I'm so excited. This is my first monthly kit that I have bought from her. I buy her weekly kits all the time. I love her kits period. So when I saw this one I was like I have to get this. This is so gorgeous. So I went ahead and got it. So this is the first page and it has the big old sticker that goes up here to cover October and then the first line of dates because those don't those days are not part of the month and then you have your date covers a little Halloween sticker and some payday flags this sheet here is the other half of the top bar and then this goes right here to cover these two dates since they are not part of October and I just love the idea of this because I like let me zoom you guys in a little bit I like that the next month at a glance is right here so that's pretty cool and then all of these are just like quarter boxes and then you have some sidebar items with headers to use and then some circle icons and then the last sheet you have some page flags build you stickers some appointment boxes and then these three are full boxes you have some canceled change of plans or rescheduled stickers and then you have these strips down here which are for if you have like a vacation or something that's going to be a week long or more than one day time frame then you can use these to mark that so you have two strips that are the long ones and then you have two the two right here are middle sized and then you have four little ones so that is what's in this kit and I'm super excited to use it I'm kind of nervous to lay down this big sticker I'm not gonna lie because it's so big and I did get this in glossy, so it's not removable matte. So I'm a little nervous, but we'll get through this. So what I'm gonna do actually to lay the sticker down a little bit easier for myself is go ahead and flip this and I might flip it sideways so that I can line it up with this line right here and see how that goes. Like guys, pray for me, pray for me. So this month, I don't really have like a ton of stuff going on, just to be fair. Um, other than school, I really don't have like any major plans to plan for. So I don't have any trips or anything. So there's not going to be a whole bunch for me to like really, really add in here. But I still want to like make this spread cohesive. Oh so pretty that was a little easier than I thought it was going to be I think since I lined it up with this edge here it just kind of lays flat on its own so that's gorgeous I love that and I think I'm going to do the same concept on this side just to make sure that I get it all down straight I just want everything to be straight so there's only two like really really exciting things going on this month and they're not actually really that exciting I guess you could say they're exciting but they're not like I don't have any trips I don't have any vacations planned nothing um, like that at least as of right now Ooh, this is a little crooked let me 
fix that. So, like I said, it's going to be a little boring as far as events, but again, I wanted to put this down, start using these so that I can start using my monthly spread. Um, I don't really use it. I do use it now. Okay, this is really crooked. I use it more in my happy planner because I am writing down important due dates that I have for school since I use my this is so stressful since I use my happy planner for school tasks I use the monthly spread for all my school classes stuff so I do use it there but not as much okay you guys just that right there it just makes the whole month look so much better i love this sticker it is so gorgeous okay i'm gonna go ahead and put down these this little monthly spot right there for those two dates this is really pretty but um yeah so like i keep saying i don't really have that much going on so it's okay but i don't know exactly what we have planned we don't really like plan out huge events that much um except for like holidays when we do plan on going on trips or if family's going to come visit us or whatnot okay so i guess the next thing i'm going to do is put down our paydays so i want to go ahead and put down actually i, I want to put down this happy halloween sticker because it is so cute and i love how she just cut it to fit perfectly in the little box down here so that is awesome and if I remember right, I think she was saying that she cuts her stickers so that they fit right in the box. Like, they're not going to cover up the lines. So that's cool. Okay, there you got that sticker down. And I don't know if I want to do the date covers. I might do the date dots at the end. Like, put them down at the end because those take time and I just don't really want to deal with that right now. I guess I'll go ahead and do the sidebar stickers. I want to try to get like all the bigger stuff down. So I think I'm going to do the sidebar stickers. and I'll, Yeah, I'm going to do that. So yes. Um, I'm so excited to use this kit though. It's so pretty. When I saw her show the sneak of this on her Instagram, I was like, I have to get that. She has a kit that matches this and I did get the kit too. And I just thought they were so pretty. Like everything about this kit is just so gorgeous. But everything about a lot of the kits that Shop Jessica Hearts does um, are phenomenal. She has really, really good taste. And I love the way that she puts her kits together. You can tell that she puts a lot of thought into how stuff looks and co go together in her spreads because she doesn't make a lot of her stuff look very like busy, which is, I think that's why what I love a lot of her kits is because it's not like boom in your face. They're like super, super busy. She really, really does really good at um, making the patterns go together, make them cohesive. So that's pretty cool. So I think what I wanna put on here is, I think I'm gonna do appointments as to the top one. And I love these headers. They're so cute. Like they're perfect because you don't have to write on the boxes over there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna do school also because that would be perfect to mark down any really, really important dates that I need to look at and remember. And then I wanna do fitness. And then I think I'll do, um, I'm thinking either finances or events, I think is what I want to do, or goals. Um, hmm, I think I'm going to do, no, I think I want to do a to-do because, no, I think I'm going to do events because a lot of the to-do stuff and everything like that I usually put in my weekly spreads so I don't really think I need them up here in the monthly spread 
So I'm loving that. That's so cool. I like that. All right. So the next thing is, I think I want to cover... So the two events that I do have going on this month and is on the 20th is my husband and I's 11th anniversary. So our 11 years together, not married. We've only been married for eight years. We're going on, going on nine years, nine years in April, but we've been together total for 11 years. So I want to put that here. And then my mom's birthday is on the 28th. So what I think I'm going to do is put one of these full boxes. And I think I'm going to put one on my mom's birthday because that's, you know, my mom's birthday. So I'm going to put that here. So pretty. And I have some stickers that I'm going to put in there. And then... For my anniversary, I don't want to put a full box because I just don't want all the full boxes to be right next to each other because they're like right there. So what I think I'm going to use is some of these quarter boxes and then I'll use some decorative stickers that I have. So I'll do that after I do my mom's birthday. So I have these stickers here from a little TLC design and it just says happy birthday and I thought Maybe if I incorporate this one, it would be the best one to match since it's just like a pink and gold font. I don't really like the cupcake. The cupcake doesn't really match, but it's okay. These will have to do. And this paper is so soft. This is on her premium matte paper that she has, and I'm loving it. So I think I'm just going to stick this right up here. And then I'll write my mom's birthday on there. So for our anniversary, I had a couple ideas. I want to use the Celebrate Munchkins from Once More With Love. And they're these little Let's Celebrate Munchkins. Let me show them to you a little bit better. You can see. So I wanted to use this one down here because it's just Let's Celebrate Our Anniversary and whatnot. And I was thinking of layering it over one of the quarter boxes and then writing either right on top of it or under it. So I think I want to use one of the gold flake, flaked ones. I'm pretty sure that's what one I want to use. So I think I'm going to stick the quarter box. Um, yeah at the bottom like so and then I'm gonna stick the little munchkins celebrating right over that in the center and then I'll write anniversary along the top and I think that looks gorgeous so for the decorative boxes I think what I want to do first first let me do these I can't, I can't even think is payday so we get paid every 15th and the last day of the month which is Halloween but ugh, it's gonna fall on my mom's birthday okay so I don't want to cover that up I think what I might do is just stick one of these dollar signs hmm Maybe I'll just put it on Saturday because it'll go in Friday night and become available on Saturday morning. So I think I'll just go ahead and put it on Saturday and then the 15th is on a Saturday so it'll be available on Friday. So I'll go ahead and put that there. And these are her little payday flags that she has. Is that crooked? No, it's okay. So I used those. I don't get paid any other days of the week. So that is that. Oh, I did want to use like one of these. So she has these little icons on here. And she has like the little glasses clanking or like these little wedding bands or like the gifts. I think I'm going to put one of the darker gift one on my mom's birthday and then maybe put one of these glasses clanking and the rings on the anniversary date so I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do 
the darker color for my mom's birthday. And then I think I'll just leave that because I don't want to cover it and I think it's super, super cute. But she does have this cute little kettlebell sticker. I just pulled it off. So I'm going to stick that on the sidebar on my fitness tabs. Put that there. And events. I don't think... I might use one of the exclamation marks or the asterisks. Yeah, so I'll use the asterisks for the events. I'm just putting some decorative stuff over here, not anything important. And then appointments. Maybe I'll do an asterisk for school. And then another not an asterisk, an exclamation, exclamation mark. Ugh, I cannot ever say that word. So I might use the pink asterisk up here at appointments. Just trying to add a little something to the sidebar. Um, I guess I could use one of these Bill Do stickers though. So I'll use one of these Bill Do stickers that she has on the first since that is when our rent is due. I usually pay it before then, but I'll still mark it on there. And then I don't know if we have, so we usually do our bills on the same day we get paid. So I think what I'll do is just go ahead and put some bill due stickers on the same day we get paid and just use those as our budget days. Cause we pay all our bills on the same day. So I'm putting those down just, just to use up some of these stickers because otherwise I wouldn't really have much going on. So I don't know what we have planned for our anniversary. We usually, for our dating, if you will call it, anniversary, we don't really do too, too much because our wedding anniversary, I guess, trumps our dating anniversary. So we usually don't do too much, but we'll see um, sometimes I can get him to be like okay I guess we'll do something we'll go out to dinner every once in a while or like go hang out or something but usually not that much so I don't know I think I want to use the camera full box I'm just trying to like even out this heaviness because like, everything is all on one side Okay, so I have that full box there, and I think I might put this one down here. Yeah, try, just trying to even it out a little because I noticed like all the events and like anything that I added other than like holidays is all on this side. So I figured putting these over here will help kind of even it out. So I think that is pretty much the gist of it. I don't have anything else going on that I can think of. Let me check my phone really quick. I do have one thing I want to add and it's not like super, super important or anything, but on the 23rd, Walking Dead comes back on. So to mark that, I think I'm going to use one of the darker, no, maybe. Maybe I'll use the, no, I'll use the darker one. I feel like if I use a darker one, because this is dark already, I don't want it to just like fall down here. So I think I'm going to use this lighter pink one here. And I put this on the 23rd. I almost forgot about that. If any of you guys watch The Walking Dead, are you guys excited for the new season to come on? Like... I remember last season and how it ended. I was just so upset that it ended that way because I just wanted to know. Like, let me know, right? So, um, I think one of the icons I'm going to use. I don't know which one I'm going to use. I think I might use the asterisk or the exclamation. Maybe the exclamation mark. I don't have any little TV littles, so I'll just use that and I'll mark The Walking Dead coming on. And 
yeah so that's pretty much everything that i have going on right now again like i said i don't have too much planned at the moment like i don't know if we'll plan more but if the time comes i'll end up planning some more for you guys or adding more to this so definitely stay tuned i think what i'm gonna do is obviously post this spread as it ends up after this video whenever i post the video and then I'm thinking at the end of the month, I'll go ahead and post the end spread and show you guys if it changed or not. So definitely stay tuned for that. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start putting down these date dots. I need to go grab some tweezers though because I don't have any with me right now. And I know these things are tiny, 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 tiny. So let me be right back and I'll go grab some tweezers. Okay, so I grabbed some tweezers. And I found some that I had like from forever ago and I figured I'll just go ahead and pull these and just use them for my planner instead of using them because I, I don't ever use them for like tweezing my eyebrows or anything so I figured I'll just use these for my planner they're so cute I can't remember where I got them I think somebody gave them to me for like Christmas or something and it came in a set but they're just so cute so I'm going to go ahead and start putting date dots down and I'm obviously not going to talk through this because this will take forever and um, yeah so I'm going to start doing this. Okay, so I got all the date dots down. I did end up not putting down one on the 28th because I kind of covered the spot where it would go and I didn't really think it was necessary. And then obviously for Halloween, I didn't put it down because it's already on there. So that's all that's left on this page are the two date dots, the payday flags, and then I have some headers and obviously a lot of those circle icons, a ton of these quarter boxes. And then I have the flags, some bill due stickers, appointment boxes, these canceled or change of plan, rescheduled stickers, and then these um, event stripes or st strips or whatever you would want to call them. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and fill in what I need to fill in. And then I'll be back after I fill it all in. Okay, so this is the finished spread. I filled everything out as far as what I needed to add. I don't have anything as of right now to put in my sidebar. So whenever that happens, I'll end up putting more in there. But I am loving how this turned out, you guys. Just so, so pretty. The date dots did take me forever to put down. But I think as soon as I got to like the 16th, I got the hang of it a little bit better. So yeah, I'm liking it a lot. And totally love how this is turning out um you guys this is so so pretty so stay tuned for the end of the month i'm sure you guys won't remember by the time the end of the month comes but if you're not following me on instagram def definitely check out my instagram because i do post updated spreads so you can see how my spreads turned out towards the end of the week or midweek and then with monthly spreads i'm going to start posting those at the end of the month whenever I fill out more stuff just in case it is different now I don't know if it's going to be that much different but if it does end up being different then I'll definitely post it on Instagram for you guys so definitely check out my Instagram I have all my social media linked down below and yeah so I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye